Hello viewers, welcome back. Today I present you Clarence Anderson magnetic motor or aperture for demonstrating of magnetic force. Uh, with these two permanent magnets I will demonstrate outside the principle of working and then I will get back to the drawings and sh show you all the details how this should work. So this image represents it. So let's go outside. <sighs> Okay, yours. So we have these two permanent magnets, and they are uh, positioned that like poles are facing each other. That means we we need a high force to uh, put them close together. And principle of the Clarence Anderson magnetic motor is exactly this one. So the like poles will repel each other, but you will see how this thing should rotate. Yeah, the rotor in this case. So over here we have a thick piece of the. Uh, high permanence material, so basically just the usual steel, yeah? very thick steel. So when we have these two magnets facing each other, yeah? and when we put them uh, inside between these two, they actually, yeah, they actually attract to the steel. So opposing magnetic field is not strong enough to repel them. So when I get back, you see, we have steel this repelling force. Yeah? And when they are going, they are actually attracted to the steel instead, no matter they are uh, light poles are opposing each other. Yeah? So, so that means that, uh, let's see, okay, okay, because they are so strong you cannot put them on. And that will be the principle of working. So basically, these two magnets will uh, repel each other when they face each other. This is the rotor will go this way, you will see in the drawings, and then Basically, they will be attracted to this piece of steel and then this piece of steel will be removed. So we are like over here, we are over here and they will come and they will then repel it's each other yeah? when we remove the steel. And now let's get to the drawings and show you how this is designed in this motor. Okay viewers, so this is Clarence Anderson magnetic motor and its construction, so from outside. So let me start explaining components one by one. Okay, as you see that outside I demonstrated these permanent magnets and interaction with the high permeability material, which is in this case usual steel. Yeah? And this will be represented by these yellow plates between the magnets. So let me for now, for the beginning, hide the, the stator yeah? and then try to that it's more visible inside. Okay, as you can see, as I demonstrated outside, these plates will be in the horizontal position. Now they are in position when they will be removed, that these two magnets can repel each other, like exactly in this position right now. Yeah? So that's the idea. And how are uh, how it is created that these plates can be moved left and right? So you can see on the top and on the bottom uh, there are some arms. Yeah? So you can see. So this these bottom arms are connected uh, this bottom and top arm are on the rotor yeah and this metal plate yeah it's on the shaft which is mounted in the stator so you can see when the rotor comes to to this position it will open the plate it'll move the plate to the side that the magnets are free that they can repel each other and before that so, so this is the position when uh, when they will repel each other but before actually this rotor magnets will be attracted to these steel plates. So, so that's the idea. Yeah? And uh, of course, it's logical that this will stop. Yeah? But since we have uh, this thick rotor, which has, um, let's say, a big mass, it's, it will uh, be used as a flywheel. Yeah? The flywheel has a big mass and it retains a momentum. So this will not stop. Yeah? And then, uh, when when this plate uh, will be moved, uh, the rot rotor magnet will repel itself from the starter magnet, yeah, and it will create a um, very high kick, yeah, so magnetic kick, and it will push forward the rotor to rotate, yeah. So that's that's the idea of this system, yeah. Uh, there are several other embodiments of this um, how this can work, but this is one of mechanical and very simple to explain, yeah. So. What is here uh, logical that yeah uh, we need outside source as it stated in the patent we need outside helping source uh, to rotate this at least at the beginning this rotor 
and then we will use the momentum, the flywheel momentum, to retain the rotation of the rotor and that these uh, plates can open you know, by the force of uh, the retained in the rotor spinning. Yeah? And that's it. And then oh, high magnetic kicks will be created and this rotor will continue to rotate. Yeah? So that's basically it. So the these steel plates are actually hypermobility material. They will attract the rotor and then when we'll be uh, when will be displaced by these arms, uh, then the like poles will face each other and the rotor will continue to spin. Very simple design, but yet, yes, as it explained, we need an outside source to spin this rotor. And the, the total output of this system, it's unknown. And it's not even stated in the, in the patent. Basically, it's represented like an aperture for demonstrating of magnetic force. But for pure, de for just that, you don't even need a motor. You just place the like poles facing each other. So thank you for watching, until next video, stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.